Hi there, Dominic here and uh, with an overview of the Vertex tab let's see what tools do we have we have the Vertex tool select it and now when I click you see on the work plane I'm creating with each click new vertices I can when I hover over it adjust the position of the last one but I cannot interactively reposition the previous ones, only the last one the one with the crosshairs so when I drop the tool now and deselect everything it seems that my vertices are gone but when I go to wireframe you see my vertices that have been created on the work plane going back to shaded mode I can bevel, so let's see that in action I'm going to select couple of vertices, press bevel and now click in the viewport to activate the tool, I get this blue handle and I can set the inset by clicking and dragging that handle or by interactively clicking and dragging in the viewport I can give it a round level zoom in a bit to see what happens with no round level one round level, two round levels just like that three round levels okay the bevel tool the extrude tool first I'm going to make a selection of vertices I'm going to press extrude and click in the viewport now I have two handles I can extrude those vertices and give them a width like that okay that's the vertex extrude, going to drop the tool very interesting to do for instance spikes like that and I want to show you that on Luxology TV there is a video by Brad Peebler which is called Macro Recording it's on Luxology TV page 27 I would suggest you look at that video because Micro recording in Modo is again a very powerful thing. It lets you record certain operations so you can turn those operations into a tool. So, for instance, if I ma first make a selection, go to System, set Record Macro, when I am going to click that, now a micro is recording. When I extrude, for instance, press click drag out the extrusion and now the width going to drop the tool by pressing spacebar going to system and press again on record macro now my macro has stopped recording again go to system and say storing config now I can give it a name for instance I can call it quick spikes press enter or press OK and now over here in my command history if you don't see the command history it's all the way over here when I drag this up I see my command history I can scroll down and I have here a command that says quick spikes and what can I do with it for instance I can make a selection let's uh, make a selection of vertices like that and I only have to double click this one and now all the selected vertices are spiked so a video by Brad Peebler micro recording Luxology TV page 27 I suggest you look at that very powerful to use in Modo what else do we have? we have a merge tool when I click on it I can set a distance or I can click and drag in the viewport and this is going to merge vertices according to a certain distance so in the beginning nothing much is going to happen because my range is small but over here you already see vertices that were closer to one another w which are being merged and the further I drag it the more vertices are being merged of course I can also make a selection first select the merge tool and click oh, going to Alt click on vertices to make it uh, vertices, merge tool, click and drag and the further I go, yep, you see some verts are being 
merged. This is my merge tool. Um, I have my topology pin, that's for another tutorial. I have a, a command new vertex over here, which lets me specify the creation of a new vertex, and I can set x, y, and z values over here. So, for instance, x um, 10, y 10, press OK, go to my wireframe view, and I should have a vert. Yep, here it is. So, very straightforward, shaded. So that was new vertex. I have my option to center and center all axes. When I click center, I can specify on x, y, z, all x, y plane, <coughs> y, z plane, z, x plane. So let's say all and OK. Now everything seems to have disappeared, but actually I have a vert somewhere over here and now all geometry which includes this vert I'm going to delete this one shift A again center all axis OK shift A you see now my whole mesh including those vertices has been centered on all axis actually those are the same commands you find on the basic tab over here you have a tab when you click on it you can say again all or x or y or z or the other planes. So this is this. These are the same commands to center or center all axes. It's a shortcut to immediately to go to center all all axes. Then what else do we have? We have set position. So if I make a selection and I click on set position, now I can set a value on x, y, and z. So if I x is selected and I set my value to one. OK, you see that third has been set to 1 on X. I can also, I'm going to drag the command history back down. I can also go to my lists tab. And in most of the time, <coughs> statistics is selected. When I go to info, I'm going to hover over this field and press the, o, the, the 0 key to maximize that panel. And now I have, for that selected third, a position. I can also set, of course, the position over here. So I can say 0.5, and now you see that third has jumped in 0.500 millimeters on X. For instance, Y1, like that. So I'm not constrained to set position over here. I can go to the list tab and set it over there. And of course, the more I select, the more I have info on my vertices so it can be useful to select only one at a time or two at a time to not have too many populations over here I'm going to press zero key again to go to, to minimize scan that viewport okay that was a set position I have align when I select a number of vertices then align becomes available and this is going to unif when uniform is checked I first come to uncheck it uh, I can align vertices for instance I can set it on all axes to align and I'm going to press OK and now you see those vertices have been aligned on all axes in a straight line I'm going to undo that I'm going to check align again and now for instance I'm going to set it on X, OK, and you see now there is an alignment in X. It's You might think, well, that's not a straight line. No, because it, the alignment only happened in X. So with align is going to try to align all vertices in a straight line, but according to specified directions when I set it to all again you see now they're in a straight line because it also could move in Z and Y so an align command can be very useful it's faster than setting the position for its vertex manually um, I can remove when I make a selection remove it's same as the delete key so I'm 
going to control Z and press the delete key now. Delete is the same thing. Um, I can also make a selection as an edge and remove. So it's going to delete both vertices. Or if I make a uh, selection of, uh, so of, of, of a polygon, again, remove is going to delete those four vertices. It's the same as pressing the delete key. Uh, no, excuse me, it's not the same as pressing the delete key. If I have that polygon selected and press the delete key, you see that only that polygon is uh, deleted. But when I press remove, then it's going to remove them those vertices. This, so, it's the sa so pressing remove with this polygon selected is the same as going to a vertex selection and pressing delete like that. So experiment with that. I can have it. I can have vertices collapse. So when I select a couple of vertices and set it to collapse, now they are being merged. Let's set that back one. So I have now one vert over here. They have been collapsed. I can join vertices. So when I make a selection and press join, then I get uh, an option to average or and keep one vertex polygon sometimes you will want to keep one vertex polygons most of the time you want you don't want that uh, so without average it's just going to take the first vertex and merge that to the second one on control z undo so if i first select this one and then that one and then join with the default settings okay then the first one is being transformed to the second one and they are merged. When I set join and average, then they will be joined in the center. Like that. Control Z, so I'm going to do it again. Okay, if you get this pop-up, two vertices are joined, you could say, well, in the future, hide this message and even hide all messages like this one. I would suggest certainly in the beginning when you're learning modo to not hide these messages can be useful personally i'll always look down here in the viewport to see how many vertices i have selected to make sure that i don't accidentally merge vertices that i don't want to merge i also have a joint average command over here and as you guessed they will uh, merge all these vertices averaged so that's a shortcut, control Z undo, a shortcut for join with average selected over here. I can split vertices, so with this vertices selected I'm pressing split. And now when I go to tab, you see those vertices, they actually have been unmerged, if you will. So now, if, so before the split, this was one vertex. And by splitting it, I get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 vertices over here. So I'm going to check that. So what I did is I changed my selection from edges to vertices. And I'm checking these others. And as you see here, I have 10 vertices over there right now. What the split command does. And of course, also uh, merge. So I'm going to Control Z undo to have these vertices selected again. Press merge. Uh, automatic is going to work at this point because I know because I used the split that these vertices are all at the same place. With automatic is going to merge vertices that overlap. So okay, nine vertices merged. Okay, like that. These haven't been merged because I did not select them, I only had these ones selected. And as you know, in Modo, when nothing is selected, everything is selected. And when I made a specific selection, the operation is only going to be done over there. So if I s do this, for instance, and set Merge, and again, Automatic, OK, then five merge vertices merged, OK. And now you see those others are also been merged. So, I think I've covered most of the vertex tab. Yep. 
So, hope you find it useful, very powerful. The topology pen is a sep separate subject because it's there are all already videos on there on Luxology forum. So, I would suggest to check them out. Very useful. Also, the when you bought Modo or when you upgrade it, you got uh, spotlight videos by Andy Brown. It also covers topology pen. Make sure to watch them. Very useful. So. Hope you find it useful. This was Dominic. Bye for now.